Chapter 1. Slogans, Buzzwords, Myths and Feel-Goods, Plus More. Ten true or false sample test questions follow. The correct answers to these ten questions will be found in the current chapter material. It is suggested pausing the audio to read these sample test questions. Continue the audio after completing your review. Smart Defense it is the best odds for both giving and receiving the gift of life. Slogans, Buzzwords Over the past two decades, the D-Team has used numerous slogans and buzzwords in order to enhance the odds of information retention. The following are examples of these slogans and buzzwords that will appear in the course. SOS As the operator of a motor vehicle, you are given an opportunity to drive smart or to drive stupid. Your insurance company has the right to expect you to be a safer driver following the completion of the Smart Defense curriculum due to the insurance discount you will be entitled to receive. It is the belief of the D-Team those who complete the Smart Defense course will have a better opportunity to be a smarter driver, thus a safer driver. If you think you're good, prove it. While it is easy to claim one superiority in the driving task, the real proof is in the doing. Are you good enough to use your turn signals all the time? Do you maintain the proper following distance at stop signs and red traffic signals? Are you smart, patient enough to help those drivers who obviously are not capable of improving their odds of returning home safely? Can you come to a complete stop at a stop sign intersection even though there is no cross traffic in sight? The force is not your friend. Smart Defense by the D-Team believes all occupants of a motor vehicle in motion should be aware of the consequences of violating nature's law, here unknown as the force. An object in motion, a human missile, remains in motion until the second crash. View a real-life second crash scenario. Yellow and black arrow in picture number 1-2 below. The first crash occurred when two vehicles collided. The second crash happened when the unbuckled driver continued in motion and unfortunately smashed into the front windshield. There is no question the force is a more formidable opponent than man's law, like the police officer in picture number 1-3. Okay, maybe this police officer is formidable, but he does not possess the power of the force See picture number 1-4 directly below. Principles of the Force Number 1. The Force is on every spot, on every road, every second of every day. Number 2. The Force does not care who you are. Number 3. The Force does not allow you to plea bargain. Number 4. Please remember, the Force is not your friend and it will be with you throughout your entire driving experience. The power of the force. Speed. The faster you go, the stronger the force. Angles. The sharper the angle curves, the stronger the force. Traction. A slippery road surface will make the force more powerful. It will never happen until it happens. No one knows the time, place, or even if the unthinkable will happen. The reason we do not know is because we are dealing with the future. Please consider including smart defense in your future driving plans so you will give both yourself and other roadway users the best odds for receiving the gift of life, collision-free motoring. Please keep in mind the driving choice you have, SOS. However, the gift of life can come in ways other than collision-free motoring. Picture number 1-5, Organ and Tissue Donor Program. Give the gift of life. When you apply for or renew a driver's license in Delaware, you will be asked if you wish to be an organ and tissue donor. If you say yes, the words organ donor will be placed on your license. You will also be given a brochure containing information about your donation. In order to prevent confusion and misunderstandings upon your death, we suggest you also inform your family of your decision to be an organ and tissue donor. Once you have designated yourself as an organ and tissue donor, this designation once you die may not be revoked according to Delaware law. 
More nationwide information is available at www.organdonor.gov or for more localized information go to www.donors1.org. Myths and Feel Goods Classroom and online courses, knowledge, are taught in a static environment. A static environment remains still like a drawing or a piece of paper. However, driving skill learning can only take place in a dynamic environment, meaning it is ever-changing and requires considerable practice. Please note the pictures of a stick shift and a brand new Chevy Camaro, pictures number 1-6 and number 1-7 below. Telling a friend or family member, knowledge, how to shift gears while driving your brand new Camaro without providing actual practice is not exactly a smart decision. Is this a risk you would be willing to take? Unfortunately, there are those who still believe quick reaction physical behaviors can be successfully taught in a classroom setting while ignoring the absolute requirement of practice. Remember that brand new Chevy Camaro picture number 1-7 above. Two prominent examples of myths that unfortunately serve no purpose other than the feel-good scenario are the teaching of skid recovery techniques and head-on collision avoidance in a classroom setting without the opportunity for a single second of practice. Sorry, it just does not work. Vehicle emergencies information is available in the Delaware Driver's Manual pages 110 to 114 for those who take the position classroom teaching is sufficient. See FYI below for directions to view this manual on the internet. Four-wheel anti-lock brakes clarification. There are those who suggest the major benefit of anti-lock brakes is to decrease stopping distance. However, steering is the real benefit of the type of braking system. Anti-lock brakes will allow for continued tire rotation until the vehicle has no more momentum. The tire rotation allows for some degree of steering of the vehicle, thus possibly avoiding a collision. On the other hand, tire lockup, which can occur with non-anti-lock brakes, is a major cause of the vehicle skidding in an uncontrollable manner. Anti-lock. Press hard and keep pressing until clear of a problem. If you release pressure and or pump your brakes, the benefit of anti-lock will disappear. Non-anti-lock. Pump them the best you can because if you treat them like anti-locks, your tires will lock up and you will have no control of your vehicle. The force will be in full control. Two-wheel anti-lock. Rear wheels only anti-lock, so it is still possible to lock your front wheels with too much pressure. If that happens and you need steering, the only option is to release brake pressure. FYI, to access the Delaware Driver's Manual online, go to www.dmv.de.gov, then click on Forms and Manuals under Services. Next, click on Driver's Manual in the right-hand column under the title Driver Services. Picture number 1-9 below is the Delaware Point System as identified in the Delaware Driver's Manual. Delaware Point System Violation Speeding 1 to 9 miles per hour over posted limit 2 points Speeding 10 to 14 miles per hour over posted limit 4 points Speeding 15 to 19 miles per hour over posted limit 5 points Speeding 20 miles per hour or more over posted limit, 5 points, and may result in additional actions including suspension. Passing a stopped school bus, 6 points, and may result in additional actions including suspension. Reckless driving, 6 points. Operation of a vehicle causing death, 6 points, and may result in additional action including suspension. Aggressive driving, 6 points. Disregarding stop sign or red light, 3 points. Other moving violations contained in Chapters 27, 41, and 42 of Title 21, 2 points. SOS, you can drive smart or you can drive stupid.